welcome to Mastermind Alliance, episode one. This is the podcast that's going to give you all the little hints and tricks that you need to succeed in life. I'm sitting right here with my guest, Steph. Man, I'm going to let my man introduce himself because it's just so much, so much. This is, this is one that if you, if you just press play on the podcast, put your seatbelt on cause you, and, and get your pen and paper because you don't want to miss a thing. So how you feeling today, Steph? How you feeling, my brother? Man, I feel honored. I feel um, I feel blessed and I feel fortunate to be in the presence of you and your crew. Um, man, today's a, a great day to be alive and to witness uh, the magnitude of, of, of greatness. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I'm so proud of you, bro. This location is amazing and what it stands for. Mm. Tell, tell, tell the people at home a little bit about what's going on in here right now and where we're at. Okay, so we are in OPEN. OPEN uh, is an acronym that stands for Organic Personal Environmental Necessities. Mm. Uh, community economics and say sustainability is what we're about. Um, we're here to service our community. We're here to be a beacon of light and life to our community. And um, we're open seven days a week, 7 a.m., to 10 p.m. Mm, and where are we located? We are located in the heart of Hollywood, right across the street from Netflix on Coenga Boulevard between Sunset and Fountain. Yes, sir. And bro, how did this all come about? Because the money you walk up in here, this ain't no regular fast food joint. This ain't no regular uh, uh, business model. You could tell every little detail in here was made with love, with passion, with thought. So yes. when did this idea first come to you? Um, it's, it's been a compounding idea. It's been a compounding um, lituation. <laughs> um, you knowing what I know being in Los Angeles, it's, it's wavy out here. Mm -hmm. So it's people are coming and going, things are coming and going, fads are coming and going, life is coming and going. And um, what we have in open is everything that needs to stay. Mm. So the good of everything that comes. I like that. Yo, uh, just to tell the audience a little bit about how me and Steph know each other, back in the day, any time I would be at these Hollywood events, and you know what? I'm a, it's, been a, it's been a long time now. I'm going to tell you guys how I was even there. I used to sneak into these parties. Yo, <laughs> you and I both. <laughs> so listen, every time I would see Steph like at the Playboy Mansion or something, it's like, what up, my brother? And it just kept going for years and years to the point where I was like, hey, man, what the fuck do you do? <laughs> right, 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 right. And right. it's so cool, bro, for both of us to now be where we're at in life because we weren't sneaking in to just sneak in. We were trying to be of purpose, of use. Mm. And it's, it's beautiful for me to come in here and see what you've done with this location, bro, because like you said, this is of use. Mm. This is of culture. This is a lituation. Mm. But shit, before we continue and we get to know more about your story, where you came from, how you started, and how you are today, let's take these shots. Ooh, let's do it. <laughs> so tell me a little let's bit more it. about this, bro. So this is this is what you call a, a bitter. Um, this is um, this is a recipe by Dr. Sabi. Um, I'm not gonna put the full ingredients. Uh, on the screen, but um, I can list a few ingredients. We got dandelion, yellow dock, burdock, soursop leaves, cayenne, damiana, ginger and clove, and um, come to open and see what else we have in here. Facts. This is available in store. And um, when I walked in, he said, yo, let's take these before the podcast because these open up your third eye. That's right. Oh, excuse me. And the benefits of taking the iron tonic is blood circulation, blood cleansing, boost energy, boost immunity, anti-inflammatory, antibacteria, antiviral. For the people, by the people. Thank you, Dr. Sebes. How about that? Get yours, bro, bro. Yeah, get yours right. Yeah, yeah. We got Bano behind the camera, yo. I just fucking reached. You see how across the room? <laughs> the sun reaches crazy. Cheers. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get right 
dropping drop a second. Drop. We're not yeah. dropping a second. <laughs> Yo, cheers, y'all, to My a great guys. podcast. Yes, sir. Delicious. I love when the healthy things are so good because it, it, it makes me come back. Ooh, I, I, don't, I don't even need a chaser. I'm letting it marinate in my mouth. Oh my oh. God! Pause. Yeah. Fresh juice. Oh, what? Uh, what, what kind of juice is this? Um, our neighbor made this. Uh, ah, delicious. This is a combination of things. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Take that, baby, little chaser. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's delicious. Yeah. That's delicious. And bro, one thing I want to say is, thank you for 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 bringing this energy to Hollywood. Because yes. if I, I used to live at 1600 Vine, and it's so hard to find the healthy places in the city without getting taxed or without getting harassed or mm. just not feeling of, of the, the culture, just feeling like, okay, this, they, these people just came here to profit off the healthy people. But mm. you are doing it in such a way where it's like, come get your medicine, and I'll see you tomorrow. That's it. And, and everything from the lotion, everything from the natural candles to the hair shampoos, like... I'm, I'm proud of you, bro. I appreciate that, I'm man. I'm super proud of you. This so is, This is what we need, baby. Yes, sir. So tell us a little bit more about your story. Where are you from? And how did you end up in Hollywood? And how did you end up where you're at today? Okay. And before we even get to the 10 things that we're going to ask him, we just want to get to know him first. Because keep in mind, on this show, on this podcast, we ask all our guests 10 things that's going to help you in your journey that has helped him in his journey. So before we get into those 10 things, let's get to know Steph a little bit more. How about that? My name is SCSJR. I'm coming live from the San Fernando Valley. Hey. Valley of the motherfucking stars. California. You know what I'm saying? Representing Valley Boy. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? This shirt's 16 years old now. How about that? Yeah, this, this started me out, man. This was my... My first promotional product that I produced, my father and I, we started a silk screening factory back in 2006, mm. where we did silk screening from everyone, uh, from Trap House to Diamonds to the Staples Center, now the Crypto Arena. Damn. Um, you know, I assisted, you know, just so many, uh, so many of my peers with uh with with their clothing line and just teaching them what promotional products is wow and about the promotional product industry and um you know my my my, my forte my, my strong suit has always been marketing promotions advertising and just all around sales mm. um i've always been the one to identify the commonality of what's actuality mm. and what that means is you and i have more in common than we do not have in common a hundred percent and what we have in common the biggest thing we have in common is trauma mm. we all have trauma mm. right and the reason why i'm starting there is because the trauma that happened in our lives, the trauma that happened in my life has been a, a fruit roll up in mm. a sense. Mm. Meaning as I live my life, I unroll that trauma out that happened to me. And as I roll that trauma out, it serves as a reflection. Mm. And I'm able to see myself. So if someone calls me a name, if someone does something to me in a specific time, I roll out my trauma and I say, why is this bothering me? Mm. That's a crazy way to you look at it. You see what I'm saying? And I'm able to look at myself via my trauma and not the person who did it to me and correct and fix mm. and develop as an individual. So me as an individual, I spent my whole life 
developing myself. Mm, looking within yourself to fix thyself. Not go, yes, not sir. trying to fix yourself by never going out or using outside substances or anything. You're you're looking at the issue within. Exactly. Wow. My favorite song growing up was "What's Going On," because I didn't understand as a youngin. Why do I gotta be mad? Why do I have to cry? Why do I have to feel sad? Why are these older people doing and conflicting pain upon me, agony upon me? Mm. Why? Mm. When all I want to do is smile, all I want to do is be happy, mm. all I want to do is jump, all I want to do is experience, all I want to do is engage. Mm. Why is this trauma happening to me? Mm. And so um, that forced me at a very early age to... Go with inside myself because I realize outside this, didn't have this, the answer. It, this conflict is happening outside of me. Mm. So it's not me. So I realize at a very early age that in life, when it comes to happiness, we're in control. My happiness is going to depend on me mm. because this world is set up to take happiness to rob the joy to steal the happiness to sell i get it your you know and fuck that facts that's not why i came here that's not why i chose to experience life. this realm and this mm. life in this world mm. it's like going to six flags and sitting there with your lip out facts what's the point of even going and you you've 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 taken charge of your human experience down here and you know what it is, a human experience. And you're done letting the outside world dictate never, your experience. I never let it. That's crazy. It's, and not bro, even, it's not even done. I never let it. But it, it, it took a couple decades for me to rationalize. What's going on? And understand and process and and experience and correct and and, and analyze and, and mold yourself like you said because you were looking at like a fruit roll-up you see you explained that so awesome bro and your trauma would always unroll when things were happening to you because it, it was a defense mechanism in a sense right and then through that defense mechanism you realize hey hold up what the fuck am i defending this thing this isn't coming within me this is from the outside and bro Around what age do you think you were when you kind of started catching on to this? Because I could kind of, I could kind of relate to, to the, to the self-analyzation. You feel me? I've, right. I've, growing up, I, I, never, I never put it on other people. It's not their fault. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to figure how to, I'm going to figure why, what makes Ernesto happy. So to the point where I've realized that, like you said, we got so much more in common than we do n not in common, starting from... Already San Fernando Valley. I didn't know that's where you originated from. I'm from Valley, Valley, Valley California. Got it tattooed on me. So California. <laughs> so it's 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 just it's just fucking epic that that you didn't even start there. You took it to the traumas. We got more in trauma, man. Man, because see, and the reason why I took it there is because there's always a start. Yeah. There's never an ending. Mm. Like the ending is made up, but. Right. It's never an ending, right? So the start is, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you mind if I spit an analogy real quick? Bro, we're here to do that. Do that. Spit okay. that shit. Okay. I got a cold analogy, right? And um, this is a mental exercise, right? Hmm. Uh, You've seen the movie Matrix, right? Yes, of course. All right. You remember when Neo and Morpheus, Morpheus, went to the white room? Yes. Yes. You remember that? So you're there right now. You're right in there. a white room. Okay. All right. So this white room is beautiful. The reason why this white room is beautiful because you could put anything in it. Anything. Right now, it's just you and I. Right. Right? So you're walking. You're walking. See yourself walking. In the white room? You have room. no clothes. Okay. All right? We're going to add texture to the white room. Okay. You see the land. You see the skies. You see the seas. Mm. And you're walking. 
Okay. You don't see nobody. You don't see no structures. You just see open flame. Earth. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And you're just living, experiencing. You're like you're experiencing the, the room, just walking, touching the sand, looking at the breeze, looking at the mountains in the far. I'm walking. But naked, don't even give a fuck about nothing. No clothes. You, what is clothes? Well, yeah, what is that? It's, I haven't thought about that yet. Mm -hmm. Just walking. Yes, sir. And you come across me. Okay. You walk to and me. I, and I find you. And I tell you, I find a way to communicate to you, which communication, the words we speak is a symbol of a thought. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Symbols. That's the reason why... An apple, when a person see the apple, it's a symbol of a word. Mm. And that word is that symbol, right? So when we speak, we see, mm. right? So a word is a symbol of a thought. Yes, sir. So you're walking, and I'm communicating to you, and I say, hey, Ernesto, mm -hmm. communicate this to you, the way you can understand it. I have a place for you. To do what you want to do. Mm. Do you come with me? Why not? Yeah, because you you have a you 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 but you have is, a this you, this what is, I want to do. This is what happened. You said yes, right? Yeah. yeah. This is what happened to us. We went, mm. and this is where we are. Ah, we went. I get you. You were already free. Do it. Not even. It's, the word is not even. We never said that word. Right. I was very specific. Right. We were walking. Yes. You were just. Experiencing. It, it's not even. Mm. And you come across me and I say, hey, Ernesto, I have a place for you mm. to do what you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm already doing what I want to do. Why do I need to go into your place? I get you. I understand. That's who we are. Mm. As a society, as a community, that's where we're at. We, we, we didn't believe in the freedom and it, joy. It's not, don't even say all that other stuff. Because it, it was, it was don't already. Don't say believe. Got you. You didn't say it. Right. In the beginning. Because it, it wasn't there. Mm. Ah, that white room. That, 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 I get you. don't need to believe. I got it. That's a captive word. Mm. Believe me. Mm. Come with me. Mm. Now you're captured. Checkmate. Trust me. Now you're captured. Believe me. Now you're captured. Mm. Have faith in me. Now you're captured. Mm. That's where we are. Mm. So we got to unravel the trauma. We got to unravel mm. and we got to look at ourselves in the mirror, in that reflection. And we got to say, hey, I'm not going with you nowhere. <laughs> yes, sir. Facts. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to answer you because mm. I'm too busy doing my thing. Mm. Mm. Matter of fact, you ain't even going to be able to come to me because me doing my thing is a repellent of people coming up to me trying to capture me. Mm. Mm. No way, Jose. Mm. So that's, that's where we are right now. And to start there with that analogy and move into our conversation is, is not, now we're seeing eye to eye. Mm. I love it. I love it. And the way you broke that down was a beautiful bro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Straight up. <laughs> Even if this message was, this podcast was to stop right now. Wow. Uncapture yourself, baby. Uncapture take yourself. Take the chains baby. off, baby. That's all you got to do is take that shit off, dog. That's all you got to do. Yes, sir. That's wow. It. That's bro, that was fucking powerful. Wow. I've never thought about it like that. 
and make any decision like that. Yes. Any decision. Yes, because you're take truly. Take away everything and just put it in the white room. Mm. Thank you for that. Thank Come on, that's so. Fuck. Kidding. Thank you for that. Biohacking. Yes. This is biohacking. Fuck, bro. That, right, that mindset is biohacking. We just biohacked our whole electrical field. Because mm. that's what we are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fuck. That was so good. Damn, brother. Just, just from that analogy, you just reclaimed yourself. Man. That's why it feels like such a gift. Yeah. That's why I'm like, thank you. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so grateful right now. As you should. <laughs> As you should. Damn, and bro. Live, live in that gratefulness. Yes. And move and just and be that. Which be that. Be that gratefulness, because that's that's the spirit of creation. Of play. Is gratefulness. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, bro, so young age, you're figuring out these things. You're, you're learning this stuff about yourself. What happened next? Because fast forward, we're here. Okay. I want to know a little more about Steph before we get into these 10 things. Because, man, un unrolling this fruit roller right now is crazy. <laughs> you already so, gave us such a treat, bro. Man. Wow. Um, like... Fuck. So from San Fernando Valley, when did that crossover to Hollywood start? Uh, like, I just, I just want to know a little bit more about the, the upbringing of Steph. The, what, what created this, you know? Because, man, what you just explained right there, bro, that even some of the biggest scholars can't understand that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, wow. Like, damn. God damn. Even from you and your father working and not just cre creating and, and stitching and, and doing stuff for your guys' own brand. No, you guys are already givers where you're helping other people build these brands that went crazy. Went crazy. Went crazy. You were the backbone, backbone to so many big brands, bro. Mm. So that's the beauty that came from this. Yes. These messages, this, this thought, this... this this understanding, which is, to me, the biggest gift. That's right. Understanding. Because none of these brands, yeah, they did good, but they were like stocks. They went up, they went down. This mentality is forever. It's forever. This frequency is forever. Forever. And now with this podcast, that message. Forever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I, I, I have to go more. I have to dive into my upbringing, give like a little, a little short story. My mother, she worked with General Motors. They shut down the plant. Uh, Van Nuys, shout out to everybody that um, worked out at the plant in the 80s, the 90s. Um, and my mother and father divorced when I was like six. Mother uh, moved to Louisiana, then she moved to Ohio. And then in the midst of it all, my father, um, he was a strict, stern man. He is a strict, stern man. and. Um, he always played a role in my life, no matter what. Hmm. And, and my mother allowed it. Um, and uh, my mother always played a role in my life. So I had two people that loved me um, that was separated. And um, when I was with my dad, um, I didn't like life so much hmm. uh, because of how strict he was. Hmm. When I was with my mom, um, I more saw who I am, mm. right? Um, and and looking back, because how my dad was so strict, and when that that suppression mm. loosened, and I was with my mom, it was like a blossoming flower almost, mm. like you know. So it was it was it was it was beauty and pain. Uh, when I was younger that I went through and um, one thing I admire about my father is uh, the allowance of being around uh, our family mm. um, I didn't hang out with my 
friends when I was younger. I didn't go to birthday parties and sleepovers. and I went over my Uncle Leslie house, mm. right? I went over my Uncle Chris house, right? Mm. I went over uh, Wolfie house, right? My big cousin Wolf house, right? I was hanging out with my father's brothers mm. and cousins, and they're men. Um, so... Um, with that being said, I grew up around um, clear illustrations hmm. of what a man is. Mm. Not in a sense of words, I'm a man. Actions, but just, demonstrations. Yeah, demonstrations. Great examples and, actions, right? and loyalty because you're around family. And family, even if we argue, the, the loyalty is strong. And to grow up in that, man, it, it, it rubs off, brother. It's enriched. It's in, you're enriched in it. You're, yeah. you're, you, if, if it was lotion of love, you're dipped in it, dipped out in it. Like, you're yeah. so it yeah. that even from the way you walk, the way you look, the way you understand people, bro, it comes off. It comes Straight off. Up. And now that I, I've never known this about you, and it makes sense. It adds up. It, it, that, that's how you get this character. That's how you get this being. Mm. And wow, bro. And... Like you said it, that balance, mom and dad, like me, I grew up without a dad, so I always had the flower nurturing love. So I come more with that joyfulness. But now that I'm a father, I'm learning the father stuff that you were blessed with at a young age. But at the same time, being in it so much as a kid, it could feel suppressing because mm -hmm. it is a lot of knowledge to understand how to be a man. Mm. This, this shit, you don't read it on the box of a cereal box. Nah, you can't. You can't. You got you to gotta see it being displayed like a head-up display. To be able to copy yeah. it. And, and if, you don't, if you're not around it, if you're not experiencing it, I cannot spit symbols out of my mouth. To help you understand it. To illustrate who and what we are. Mm. Because it's who and what we are is bigger than this moment. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we haven't even got to the 10 things yet, and I feel so fucking enlightened. Man, and power. This conversation, we're putting the power back in us. That's right. And I love that. If, if you're at home listening to this, just understand that we're doing this for you guys. We're, we're bringing this power back into the human's hands. Yes. Yes, we are. Take the handcuffs off. Take them shits off, B. You heard? You heard? Man, I love it. I love it, bro. This is, this is great. Man, fuck. Before we get into the, the 10 things, any, any more, anything else you kind of want to dive into? Let the, let the world kind of know the, about the upbringing? Because um, I know it's, a, a lot of it is going to be told within the 10 things also, but I'll... Just any little moments, because, man, for us to just jump into the 10 things and miss out on these little things that you said already would have been a disservice. <laughs> I would say um, um, growing up in the San Fernando Valley, um, a climate, a region that's enriched with resources, um, enriched with diversity, mm -hmm. people from around the world. Everywhere. It's a melting pot. Of, of greatness. Uh, the reason why they call it the Valley of the Stars is because that's where your, your favorite celebrity grow up at. Facts. Uh, so being from the San Fernando Valley, I was immersed in the motion picture business. Mm. Shout out to Leslie Small. Mm. Uh, that's my uncle, uh, my father's younger brother, and he, he always had his foot in the motion picture business from, from as far as I can remember. Wow. My whole life, you know, sitting down with him, you know, Heavy D, MC Hammer, Whoa. E-40, you know, just, just chilling, just having conversations, just creating and, and meeting up at Starbucks and the life of a, of a creator. Mm. My Uncle Leslie has a lot to do with uh, the type of lifestyle I've created for myself. Being raised around him, 
He was a man that didn't answer to anyone, that didn't have anyone over him. He was a man that moved freely and and I had 100% allowance and, and access. Mm. He was someone that didn't treat me like a youngster, but he treated me like an equal. Mm. He did a push-up. He expected me to do a push-up. If we're playing ice hockey, air hockey, he didn't take it easy. Mm. He was a competitor. Um, and, and with that, that friend mm. that my Uncle Leslie played, as as a youngster i told myself this is what i want to do i want to be able to wake up when i want to wake up work out um take what's in my mind and bring it to life i want to be able to work with anyone and everyone that i would like to work with mm -hmm. uh, so this is how i saw a work environment i created a work environment around the lifestyle my uncle Leslie allowed me and gave me access to. Mm, at a young age. Um, and, and, and held you to be an equal because that, that, that right there is big because it's something to do your daily task and just bring a helper around. No. Nah, it's something to do your daily task. And even if the person doesn't see it in them, you treat them as if they are it. That's it. And, and sometimes that's all somebody needs to, to push through that fog, man, to, 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 to know like, damn, I know I might not be able to right now, but fucking Ernesto thinks I can. Steph thinks I can. My uncle Leslie thinks I can. Fuck that. I can. And, and that's, 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 again, uh, the, that empowerment, that, that, that's big, man. Mm -hmm. Sam Jones III did that, did that a lot with me. Remember back in the day you would see me a lot with Sam? Bro, with, 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 and that's the reason why I brought up the motion picture business is because um, it, I'm going to tie that into you, mm. right? Uh, I've never not seen you without a camera. <laughs> My whole experience with you, you've always had the tool to create of creation. Yes, sir. You know, you've always been zeroed in to the point where watching you is like watching a story unravel within itself because mm. there's no ending, but I know the ending. Mm. Because I saw where you came from. Yes, sir. So since I know that person, and I know this person, that's why when you text me about this, I was prepared. Mm. I wasn't even ready. I feel that. I was prepared. Bro, already, I'm like, yo, this guy was ready. You know, for <laughs> the Nesto phone call. That's epic, bro. You know, because I've always been the fly on the wall. I've always been the guy sitting back, observing. Facts. Right? And I've always saw you in the picture. And by you having that, 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 that tool to capture, mm -hmm. it, it places you in these environments. Mm -hmm. And you become... The fly on the wall. The fly on the wall, but yet the storyteller. Yes. Right? Because just like this interview was happening, it's going to transmit through time. Yes. And that's the beauty of the motion picture business is that it's a pure projection from now until. Mm. Right? And it's so much power in that. That we don't even understand, understand. It because it, it, it's just like a habit. It's, oh, woo, 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 showtime, woo, woo, woo. Nah. Anything and everything you do from eating to doing your hair to moisturizing your skin mm. to washing your hands, there's an art form involved. 
Mm. And what we got to do in life, what I have to do in life, is slow the fuck down and take heed to the processes and take heed to, to uncovering and unfolding life's most precious gift. Hmm. You know what that is? The power to create. That's it. That's it. That's why we're all here. The most precious, notable thing known to man is the act to create. Mm. That's why you're here. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. That's why they are here. That's why the camera's recording. That's it. You know, so the fact that you always have your tool, um, it's, it's, it, it, it speaks louder than words. Um, the fact that you, you reached out to me and gave, gave me the opportunity to, to speak and share these words, um, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, shots out to, to the San Fernando Valley, the Valley of the Stars, mm -hmm. where young filmmakers, young film creators, young life creators, uh, this is where we are. And this is what we do. Big facts. You know? Big facts. And to touch upon just a little what you said about the San Fernando Valley, the world sees the movie Jaws, but the, move, the world doesn't know Spielberg had a house in the San Fernando Valley where he built the shark. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. The, the world sees um, talk about it. Uh, the Hitchcock, uh, but the world didn't know the San Fernando uh, uh, Valley Universal Studios is the set that Hitchcock used to sneak into before he was granted access and even a, a able to be a director. Let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's, you're right. You're hitting the fucking nail on the head, bro. Because even, even like you said, I didn't, you didn't know that. But you, you see the reality from another side of the story. And just to give you your flowers too, bro, I got to give you this. Because every time I go to all these Hollywood events because of the camera, I get access that other people have to pay or work hard to even be allowed into these rooms. But I get called because they just need the content. You are always in those rooms, and bro, you're, you 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 never try to outshine nobody. You 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 go into these rooms, and you 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 you're right. You were always the fly on the wall, and why me? And you always had that little thing like, hey, I see you, and you see me. It's because we both were playing that role. We were letting the room do what it need needs to do, and we were learning from the room, trying to see how we could be of service or of finding the lane. But I would always see you and be like, hey, this guy, this guy, this guy's up to something, eh? Guys, <laughs> and it's oh. funny you say that the way you said that right now because we're, we're speaking no lies. And again, this is our truth. We have no reason to tell you we were sneaking into the Playboy Mansion. We have no reason to tell you we're sneaking into Hollywood premieres. Mm. We have no reason to tell you we're sneaking into the hottest red carpets mm. ever. Mm. We have no reason to tell you that. We put ourselves where we see ourselves. <laughs> And we knew we were of this crowd. We, 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 were just, we, we just didn't have their invite yet. Straight up. But we still had to be there. How about that? And wow, bro. Fuck. I'm so fucking glad you're the first person on this Mastermind Alliance podcast because you are setting the fucking bar. And anybody else that's watching, if you plan to be on this show one day, please come correct because this man right here is not leaving out no beats. And come on. wow, man, the acknowledgement. And... Um, let me just talk a little bit about, I had this podcast called, Is It Smoking? I, mm. I used to be a big smoker. I was, mm. I, was, I was going and interviewing a bunch of weed brands. Everybody from Shaggy that is the CEO of Chris Brown's uh, brand. Anybody from Chris Ball, Ball Family Farms. I was in deep. Mm. And just recently, today, we celebrate 23 days of me being sober, not smoking weed, not drinking. And that's how this podcast was burned, uh, uh, was born. Because when I got to sit with people, I loved all the knowledge I was able to learn, mm -hmm. but it was just around the theme of smoking. smoking. 
And through these 23 days of, of, of pureness, I've been like, man, I miss learning from my fo- fellow peers. I, right. I've, I've been blessed to be in some of the most amazing rooms and got an amazing personality and I've made amazing connections. Why can I not just learn? Mm-hmm. And then, bow, Mastermind Alliance podcast was born. Love it. And I'm so glad because I... What a great title. We've smoked before too, you know? All the time. And I'm so glad we're here sober, though. Sober October. You feel me? And, and I'm so glad this conversation is being felt with this sobriety because I'm fucking high off life right now talking to you, bro. How's that iron shot feeling? Oh, fucking amazing. I feel like my third eye is open, man. And that's, that, let me tell you a little bit about this hat. That's what the logo is. It's a third eye. Love that. Yeah. It's the, my logo, De La Paz, but it's a third eye. And, um, um, I, I, I went to Tulum and I did ayahuasca for the first time like five years yeah. ago. Amazing. Amazing. What did you experience? What did you see? I, I, uh, my spirit animal was an eagle and I was just flying above the world. And any time I could see something, I could dive in, learn the story, fly back up and just keep flying. I learned that my presence, my energy isn't just of entertainment. It's of leadership. Mm. And if I'm foggy, what's the point of seeing everything if you're not being a leader? Mm. so my leadership is important with a clear mind because i am going to be put in moments of test where i don't want to go with that man offering me a position of letting me do what i want to do in his galaxy don't go don't and 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 just sitting here and learning that from you was everything bro yeah I, i other people might be like thank you this helped me but you don't understand bro like you do understand. <laughs> sure. Sure. So, sure. so just, just know, man, this, this, none of this is by mistake. This is all by conscious, consciously applying myself every day and wanting to get better, mm-hmm. knowing that every day has a message, has a, has a lesson, and not, not, fakey, not fakey doing it, but really being of it. Because, unfortunately, you just came to my head right now. My, uh, my brother Eli, uh, he was in the prison with my boy King Sam Jones III when he did that one-year bid. Mm. And Brother E was M- M- Sam Jones' pillar in prison. He helped him get through that time. Mm. But then when Brother E, he was in prison for a long time, when he came out and we tried to help him, the world changed up too much. And one thing Brother E would always say is, I feel absolutely positively wonderful. He would do this big affirmation that when you were done listening to it, you were like, wow, mm. there's no way this man could be negative. And a lesson I've learned from Brother E is don't, don't, don't entertain positivity. Be positivity. Mm. Because after being out in society, it, Brother E took his life, bro. He took his own life. It, and and it, it, it fucking broke my heart and Sam Jones' heart because this was the guy that we looked towards for positivity. And um, it was a reminder for me, don't, don't preach this shit. Be this shit. Mm-hmm. And, and this conversation today is about being and, 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 I, and I love it, man. I love it. And I want to thank you again for getting me high. I feel like we've smoked three blunts right now because I'm just so high off life and how I'm just able to just pick point things from my brain right now. What the fuck was in that drink? It's sharp. It's sharp. It's sharp right now, baby. It's coming to you. Samurai, man. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really grateful, bro. I'm really grateful. Straight up, this, this, this already is an amazing experience and I'm loving this podcast a hundred times more than the is a smoking podcast, even though that was beautiful in itself, but Mm. this right here is going to do a lot more power and a lot more change and a lot more teaching than that, than that was. That's right. And I'm just, I want to thank God. I want to thank you. I want to thank Benno. And I I just, I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful right now. Straight up. Very grateful. Straight up. So shit, I feel like you got the seats warm, bro. Let's get into these 10 things. Okay. Okay. So out of the 10 things, what's the first thing that you want to give to our audience that helped you on your journey and helped you f- find your way and mold yourself. It could be from the simplest to the most complex things, but let's get started with the first one. I'm a, let's get right into it, my brother. So let's get into these 10 th- different things that we know is going to benefit our audience and help the world, man. Because like you said, this podcast is going to be here to the end. <laughs> right, baby. So whoever... Hey, there's no end. That part. And whoever gets to tune in... And watch this. We're here for you guys, man. So what would you say, uh, out of the 10 things, which one do you want to start with? Um, do, what you're, do what you say you're going to do. Mm, simple as that. 
Do what you say you're going to do. Okay. 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 That ties into accountability. That that ties into um, life core. Mm. It's these what what I'm presenting with these ten things is is called life core. It's the core of life. Mm. If you get these ten things down, you'll be able to talk to anyone. You'll be able to do business with anyone in business. The definition of business is a product service exchange for a profit. Mm. So the action word there is exchange. Mm. I say hello, you say hello. That's an exchange, right? Now I feel better. Now he feel better. Mm -hmm. It's a way of doing business. Mm. If you got a store, if he got a store, guess what? I'm more inclined to buy from you versus somebody that I didn't say hello to. Amen. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, um, life core, okay? Do what you say you're going to do. I love that. Uh, it's, okay? it, it sounds so simple, I but it's so important. I can't say it more than enough. So important. Do what you say you're going to do. And by you doing that, it has nothing to do with who you doing it for, who you doing it around. It's merely for your electrical field, for your bio field. It's biohacking. Mm. If you say you're going to do something and you do it, the universe perceives that as commonality of actuality. Mm. That's why you got some people, they say something and you see what they say right away. It's called manifestation. Because they do what they're they They're in tune with the universe. Everything is one. The commonality of actuality is in play. Mm. But if you're somebody that think life is a game where you can just say and do anything, well, guess what? You pick up the phone, you talk to that person that say and do anything... Anything and everything is happening to that person now. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. This happened to you? That happened to you? You're tired? Your leg fell off? It's, <laughs> damn. Facts. And you wonder why. Facts. Because you're acceptable to anything and everything. It's no tune. There's no frequency. Mm. It's, it's noise. Mm. <sighs> You hitting it right on the head, right? bro. So do what you say you're going to do. And by you doing what you say you're going to do, you're mastering your frequency. Pow. And now you have a fucking tone. Mm. Now the universe knows how to talk with you and help you. Like you said, anything you say even starts to pop up. Because the universe knows that you don't play. I manifested you. Mm. This whole thing, that's why I said I was prepared for you. Mm. That's crazy. And I believe that. Straight up. 100%. 100%, Steph. I believe that shit. Because anything I've ever got, I manifested. Mm. And when it's happening. When you got that, that Rolex, I was like, bro, when I see you, I'm like, oh, I did it. I got that you shit. You did it. Yes, sir. Because, yeah, 10 years ago, I got this Rolex tattooed and. Just two days ago. <clears throat> How about that? Got the real one. And it's not even about the material. Uh -huh. He just said he was going to do it. And I did it. And the, the universe is now f treating me and granting me with more success because I do what I say. And in the journey, you'd be surprised. You're more happy when you're on this vibration than when you actually got it. And that is a lesson within itself. Mm. So that is the biggest flex. To go and just write amazing, crazy ideas in my notebook and just get out, get off on that shit, mm. that shit is special. Mm -hmm. So if anybody's listening and you just, I hope you picked up and unlocked what we just said right there. Because that alone right there, it's, is it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's crazy. Do what you say you're going to do. I love that one. That's, that's, a, that's a great way to start that 10 list. That's perfect. That's, that's beautiful. And, and, and it's something that seems so like... Oh, 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 I told him I was going to go today, but uh, it's all right. We'll do it later. Mm -mm. Fuck that. Mm -mm. The minute you do that, 
to people like me and him that are tuned in, if you try to play us like that, we're somewhere oh, else. We're gone, boy. We're somewhere else. <laughs> we out of there. Like we're flying. So if you're able to talk to us, then you're flying. Exactly. You know, and if you, we <clears throat> when you in the air, it ain't no facts. It ain't no stopping. Facts. Oh, oh, you said something beautiful right there because we're in the air and we're flying. And a lot of times we like to come and bring people up to the air because they're down there saying, pick me up, pick me up. Okay, I'm going to pick you up. But now that we up and we flying, you, you, if you're trying to bring that ground energy to the air, you got to drop, boy. You drop. Don't be mad. You Don't falling. Don't bring that ground energy up here. Don't bring that ground energy up here. We are flying. We're soaring. Eagles of a Back feather to your, uh, flock together. That vision. It's right there, man. I'm telling you, that ayahuasca shit ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> you just made it go. It's full circle. Roll. It just it came just, right it, back in your face. I didn't write it. This ain't a script. This is us sitting down, being real as we can be. Yeah. And it's beautiful, right? That's crazy, bro. We're flying high. And you said it perfect. If, if we see any little mm, vibration that ain't us, it's nothing against you. We understand our mission. You're either here to help us. Assist. It's not even help. We don't even we don't even accept help anymore. Thank you. You're we the, don't even accept help anymore. We're on Kobe Bryant shit. Straight up. We might throw it to you, but we might not. Because we know the dedication and the, the jeopardy of this moment. So we might dish it off, but don't be mad when they... Kobe don't pass the ball. Well, Kobe don't need to. Kobe was practicing oh, when they was drinking. To. Kobe don't need to. Kobe was drinking. Y'all was drinking. Kobe was practicing. While y'all was clubbing, Kobe was practicing. So that's, that's really what it is. So I appreciate that. Do what you say because it's not just about you. It's about the people you're trying to fly with. And you never want to disrespect those people. Never. never. It'd be the dumbest shit you do. <laughs> It'd be the dumbest shit you do. <laughs> All right. What's number two? That was number one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get to two. Know your why. Mm. Know your why. Before I include myself to any group, before I leave my house, before I close my eyes, before I get out of bed, before I speak my first words for the day, I'm going to take time with myself to myself and I'm going to be constantly asking myself, why? Why am I talking to you? Why am I using this toothbrush? Why am I eating this food? Why am I going? Why am I staying? Why am I smiling? My why. What is my why? To answer that question, my why is to create and curate a reality for myself and for a community of people to raise in consciousness. Mm. My why is my children don't have to think about what kind of water. My why is for the people coming up next as a civilization, they don't have to worry about a roof over their head, what kind of car they're going to drive, these are all questions. These are all problems that should be answered and solved from the 
previous generation. Mm. My why isn't for me, it's for my generation. Mm. I'm not here serving myself and my neighbor. I'm here creating with my neighbor mm. an attachment to self and the future. Mm. For that generation. I know that I need water. I know I need a roof over my head. I know I need a car to be mobile, to go to A to Z. The next generation is going to need the same shit. Facts. <laughs> That's the why. So I'm not putting food in my mouth to feed myself today. Mm. I'm not making money or working capital to buy myself a vehicle today. I'm not purchasing water to hydrate myself today. I'm going to go buy a land with spring on it. Mm. I'm going to go buy land and, and put houses on it. I'm going to go buy whatever kind of materials and I'm going to start manufacturing cars. Right? Because that's my why. I'm here to make it easier for the next generation. Mm -hmm. And in the midst of me doing that, I'm making it easier for my tomorrow. Mm. And if it's easy for my tomorrow, it's easy for my community tomorrow. Because I'm taking necessary steps. I'm doing necessary things to create an impact, to create an infrastructure, to create a way of thinking to exercise the ability to develop. Mm. I like that. And not just purchase and not just make my neighbor rich, like you said, but work with my neighbor so we could make so an abundance amount so even our generation could reap the benefits of our hard work today for tomorrow. Wow. Why are we still paying for water, bro? That's crazy, I know. We got the silent generation. We got the baby boomers. We got generation X. We got generation Y. We got four generations right there. Why are we still paying for water? Why are we still paying for a roof? Or why do I got to get up and think, oh, I got to buy water. I got to get a roof over my head. Mm -hmm. I have to get it. It's stupid. It's dumb as fuck. I'm, we're not developing. Right. That's why it's the, the society is the way it is. The consume, the, they, just made, they just made us all consumers. That's all we are, consumers. Consume, 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 pay rent, pay rent, pay rent, die, have kids, so their kids could consume, consume, consume. It's, they, they've taken the power. And I say, fuck that, because I know my why. Mm. And fuck you. Because I know my why. Facts. I'm here to live. I'm living. I'm living my life. And I'm going to keep living my life. And as I'm living my life, I'm showcasing to my neighbors and community how to live their lives. Mm. Empowering us. Empowering each other so we can help each other. Not try to charge each other. You, you, you want to something, brother. You want to something deep. And I'm so glad that this podcast is getting to showcase a little bit of the hard work that you already got in place, bro. For real, for real. That's an amazing number two. Know your why. Know your why, dog. Anything you do, bro. Anything you do from everything. Because if you, if you walk with that vibration and you walk with that thought, there's no way you'll, you'll be astray. There's no way. Damn, thank you for that, bro. Because you broke it down to even the smallest things. Why am I eating this today? Mm. You said it beautifully. I'm not just eating for me today. Mm. 
like, wow, bro, you're, you're, this is from my generation and not even the generation that's here. I'm talking my kids' kids. Mm. Why am I waking up and thinking, oh, damn, I got to make sure I got enough to pay the mortgage this month. I got to make sure I got enough to pay the rent this month. Damn, we just been fooled. Buy that land. If you're smart enough, buy something with some spring, natural water so you can make natural resources. I love Simple. It. I love it, bro. I love it, you bro. You're buying the shit anyway. Facts. Facts. Buy you some shit with a spring on it. Now you can make spring water. Facts. Facts. A hundred percent. That that shit deserves an applause. <laughs> uh, since we're talking about why, t- tell us a little bit more about him, the clothing brand. Him. So him, um, I hooked up with my man C. Mill, C. Millie worth a Billy. Mm. That's my dog right there. I met the cat like a almost like a year ago, young cat, 22. Um, he's an artist. He started making clothing from his artistry, and um, he created a, a album called Him. He made merch, the merch stayed around. Uh, he met me a year ago, and when I seen it, I knew exactly what to do, how to do it. And here we are at Open LA Store. Um, the young man has created a, a, a showcase that happens at Open LA Store once a month, every first Friday. We just did our, our, our uh, big show, uh, our sixth big show. Um, we're going to do our, our seventh show, which is going to be the first week of July. Uh, make sure if you're in the Hollywood area, come check it out. We're going to have between 15 to 25 artists performing. Um, we're going to have prizes. We're going to have games. It's going to be, um, it's going to be an environment that you want to be a part of. That's fire. Uh, what, what, from and what I time to what say, time? I must say this, and I'm going to put this on for you to have. Yes, sir. Him is the modern day FUBU. Mm. I'm telling you right now, and I'm, I'm putting it on my guy podcast on his radio show. Him is the modern day FUBU. By us, for us. Straight up. And I feel the energy, brother. Even, even, even for it to be go co in hand with this door, like... This store is by us, for us. Straight up. So it goes hand in hand, and you feel it, bro. And him stands for honest, intelligent man. Mmm. God mode. You're not playing, Steph. From every, you, you walk in your why. Period. Everything you do, bro. That's why I always gravitate towards you and anything you got going on. Because the why is, is, is so in it. And one thing I love about you, you don't walk around preaching the why. No. You're smart enough to know the ones that get it, get it. I'm living, baby. I didn't come down here to be spitting symbols to everybody. Mm. I came down here to live. Manifest. And live, yes. To live it. And live your truth. Straight up. I love it, bro. You're, 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 you're not just talking it, you're... You're, you're demonstrating it, and that, that, dis, that, dis, that deserves a hand of applause all 24-7, man. For real, for real. Appreciate man, you. Show that motherfucker. <laughs> for real. Yes, sir. I love that. So um, that was your second. Second. Let's get to your third. Okay. Can do that. Number three, follow the voice that doesn't speak to anyone but you. Mmm. Mmm. So there's a voice that's speaking right now. Mm-hmm. It was just speaking to me. Listen to that voice. That's called your intuition. Straight up. Listen to that voice. Listen to the voice that doesn't speak to anyone but you. So beautifully sad, bro. Wow, I've never, I've never heard nobody. And how you do it is just by sitting still. And listening. That's it. Wow. The power, the power of 
knowing thyself and listening to thyself. Mm. Kind of to jump off the bufu, kind of how you said, did a, a little thing again. The, the, the clothing brand is buy us for us, right? This is the new version of that. But number three, to listen to that voice inside, that's, that's epic also. Oh, tell them to come in. This is dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Custo- yeah. Customers, come in. We're doing a podcast. We live. We live, baby. What's up, G? How y'all doing, man? Welcome, welcome to welcome. Open, your luxury West Coast boutique. All the snacks is organic. We got four types of sea moss. We got the him and her, the dopest streetwear brand on the street. We got juices, smoothies. We got ginger shots. We'll bring you guys in today. Smoothies? Yeah. smoothies? Perfect. What kind of smoothie you want? Do your thing, D. We're back. Sorry for that quick little business interruption, but you know, the doors is always open here. Straight up. You're always welcome to come to Open. Again, we're here from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, at Open. Come through. Come check us out. So let's get back to that number three. Number three. Follow the voice that doesn't speak to anyone but you. That intuition. Straight up. Man. And, um... What benefits have you seen throughout your journey by doing that? A lot of times, us as individuals, we live in projection. We're constantly projecting. Projecting, projecting, projecting. I want this. I want that. I got to do this. I got to do that. It's a constant projection. And when we're projecting... It's part of the process of manifesting, right? So it's, it's one thing you do, then you got to do this, then you got to do that, and that encompasses manifesting. But we're just stuck here in just constantly Projection. projecting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that, things can get cloudy. Mm. Things can get... Misconstrued. Things can get misconstrued. To the point where you start attracting the bad. You start, you start attracting what's not good for you. Because mm. saying bad and good, it's like saying hot or cold water. It's still water. Right. Right? It's what's if somebody came in here and uh, did something disruptive or did something physical to one of us, it wouldn't be bad for me to protect us facts you know what i'm saying it would be good but i get you i I see what you're saying you know what i'm saying so we want to stay away from good and bad right because we're going to do what's necessary to protect ourselves and protect our our generations to come Mm. right Mm -hmm. that's what's going to separate us from anyone else that's living Mm. um so so listening to yourself is, is one of those things where when you sit back and, and you don't know what to do, you're, you're, you're kind of scrambled. You sit still and you, you hear yourself. You listen to yourself. You don't make any invasive moves. You don't, you don't, you sit still. And you listen. That's how everything that I'm around in this present moment came about is listening to that voice. The reason why I was able to react, to respond to your opportunity was because I'm constantly listening to myself. Mm. And it goes back to the why. It goes back to doing what you say you're going to do. All the 10 things we're going to mention here is a snowball effect into one another. Mm. If you're doing what you say you're going to do, you're gonna then walk, you're going to understand your why. Yeah. And if you understand your why, you're going to listen to that inner voice. You're going to listen to your inner voice. Right? I love that. Because it's, it's, we don't, 
We're, we're not going to listen to the people around us anymore. We're not going to listen to the traditions anymore. We're not going to listen to the religions anymore. We're not going to listen to advice anymore. We're not going to listen to the teachers anymore. We're not going to listen to what he or she say anymore. Mm. We're going to listen to it. Ourself within. I've heard before... Um, uh, your intuition, that little voice inside your head, is God. So, I love that you're putting the power back in God's hands, which we all we we all got to give it up to Him. We all got to move in His light, and I, I I just love that, bro. And again, I've known you for a while, and I I I didn't know these were the things that made you tick and talk, you know. But I'm loving it, bro, because. The man you are, it, 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 of course, this, this, these are the ingredients to this man. And, and you're breaking it down so perfectly for even a, a, a child to kind of comprehend. Mm -hmm. And they say when somebody could take somebody, something that's complex and Make explain it, it, simplify it, it's, that's genius. That's, that's the definition of genius. Mm -hmm. So thank you for doing this in such a genius way. Yes, sir. Because that's the point of this podcast. We, we're not trying to just get in front of a mic and show you how smarter we are. No, nah. that's not that's not our why. Nah. And I, I, I'm Come live with it. You're Come doing it beautiful. You're doing it beautifully right now. Appreciate that, King. I love that. I love that. Keep man. So that's three. Can't wait for four. <laughs> number four. Number four is the most hardest thing to do in Western civilization. Mm. If you're in America, 2024, this is a challenge for everyone. Okay. Live in love. Oh, yes. Live in it. That gratefulness. Live in it. Got you. And it is hard in 2024. Everything Live being projected is... Hate and just live in it. Taken away. You're right. That love. Live in it. Love. Live in it. Live in love. Mm. Live in it. Live in love. Mm. Live in it. That means be a sweet person. Mm. Be sweet when no one's looking. Mm. Be sweet when everyone's looking. Be sweet. Live in love. Allow people to love you. The space to love you. Mm. Allow people the space to love themselves. Mm -hmm. Allowance. Mm. Allowance. Allow yourself to unravel that fruit roll up. Allowance. Allow your son to bump his head and get up. Mm. Allow him that space. Mm. Allow your girlfriend to go out there and see how it is not to be around you, a real man. Mm. Allow it. Love her. Live in that love no matter what. Wow. Love. Live in love. No matter what happens, just live in it. Let people make their own graves. Let people make their own beds. And just live in love. Man. Sit no matter what. Just love that person. Love them. Love it. Fuck. That's good. No matter what happens, love it. And especially what's for you. If you got a woman at home, if you got a man at home, you love that person. It's not greener on the other side. Whatever that person does to themselves that affects you, understand it. And love should come from it. Mm. Love will come from it. Because you're taking the time to understand, yeah. 
Love, 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 love. I can't stress it. Live in, in love. love. It's, it's so difficult to do because it's, it's so many ugly people and ugly things out there. You know, but... I love you for saying that, bro. But, you know, just got to just live in love, man. For real, man. And, that, and by you wow. doing that, by you living in love, no matter what the current situation or circumstance is, the outcome will be you living. Mm. That's it. And when you live, you're smiling, you're laughing, you're grateful. You cry. You cry. It's that human experience. It's the human experience. It's like back being in that white room, just but just that. Straight up. Just, ah, Straight up. Living. Loving it. Loving it. Fuck. That's good. Living love, dog. And like you said, let, let, them, let them build their, their fucking own graves if, they, if, if they're not in this vibrational of love. Because we know why we're putting ourselves in this state of mind. We understand the frequency. We've seen the stories of... We've seen the stories physically, spiritually, mm -hmm. on TV. Mm -hmm. We've seen the stories of hate. It's all around. It's so many examples. I don't want nothing to do with it. To the point where I'm going to be the complete opposite, my guy. Facts. Because I don't want nothing to do. I see how motherfuckers is, they come up looking and shit and, and being and... I don't want nothing to do with it. Nothing. You're right. You're right. And I see why you said it's the hardest thing to do in 2024, my nigga. In 2024, this is that. It's it's it's. it's I don't want to say impossible, but fuck. Fuck. <laughs> we got Russia on the out things. We got this. We got that. So much examples of fucking hate and just no love. Well, I am. Where is the love? Yes, sir. What up? You need some? No, no, no. You're really good. All right, back. <laughs> Too much love in this room right now. Straight up. <laughs> they know where to come. They know where it's at. I love that one, bro. That's amazing. That is very powerful. Live in love. Bro. Live in love. Straight up. Not live and love. Live in love. It's beautiful when you're in love. When you're in love, you come home with flowers. You, yeah. you give her that kiss. You don't yeah. give a fuck if she going to yeah. the gym. With, you don't give a f nutter. It's love. You, you, it's, love. it's love. I love you so much. Go ahead. Go see how evil it is out there. I'll be here ready to love you Yo, when you get back. Go see. <laughs> go see why I'm that nigga. <laughs> go it. see. I love it. I dare you. <laughs> you going to be right back here. And I'll be ready to hear I love you. Straight up. Because our love don't go nowhere. It's real. Live in it. I love that shit. Fuck, man. You're not playing with these, bro. Nah. You came to give them 10 I good. I told you I was prepared, You was prepared, dog. bro. I was prepared, dog. Not ready. Prepared. Dog. Yes. That's the way to live, bro. I'm so grateful for this conversation today. And we're only on number four now. That was number four. Now we're working our way to five. All right. Drop it. Drop five. All right. Boom. Number five. Travel and experience the world you came into. Mm. Travel and experience the world you came into. Don't go to Six Flags and not go in the fucking amusement park. And you're sitting on the park bench outside the amusement park for 12 hours. Mm. Stay home. Facts. Get on a ride. Enjoy this shit. Don't come to Earth and don't leave your fucking city or your state mm. or your country. Mm. Get out. Because it ain't your state. Mm. It ain't your city. It ain't your country. It's your fucking world. It's your world. You got a whole world. Fuck that street. Fuck that city. Mm. Fuck that state. Fuck that country. You got seven C's. 
You got, you got the highest mountains. You got continents. The lowest valleys. You got countries. You got water. You got air. The, you got earth. The reddest sands. The blackest sands. Go experience earth. Mm. Get the fuck up. Stop Ubering. Stop buying cars. And go fucking fly around the world. And see different parts of you. Mm. It's our human right. It's our birthright. <laughs> Fuck. Yo. He said, get out of that state. It ain't yours. <laughs> it's not yours, bro. The world is more yours than, than the, the fucking state in the city that you're in. Oh, my God. You will, you will find more of you... In the, the world, world than you will in your own fucking state city or, or state. state. Wow. Got Am I lying? Am I lying? We bro, both travel. I got goosebumps. Yes. You was going to Africa. I was going to Africa. Yes. Yes. I was born in Dominican Republic. I came to fucking the United States. I went to Ibiza. I've been to Spain. I've been to London. Mm. I love the different mm. accents. Mm. I love eating food I've never tried before and comparing it to something across the world mm. that they might not have tried before. I love being a time traveler. Mm. Man, I have found myself by going outside myself. And that's leaving wherever you are positioned or stationed. That's why the richest in the world understand you learn more from traveling than you do from years of study. Why do these niggas got $600 million yachts? To travel. What is that? Why do they have $600 million yachts? Because they want to be everywhere. These niggas is living on the water. Yes. They got all of Hollywood on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they're so smart. They why? Because they go everywhere in the world. And they take, they meet the best of the best. And what do they do? What w successful people? What do they do? They don't. They just don't come when they find something they like. What do they do? They take you with them. They love you. It's a, it's a bee. That's what bees do. Yes, the polyps. They're like, oh my. <laughs> Man, that's why. That's why they got billion dollar yachts. Because they understand the luxuries and the, the things that the other world is f fighting over crumbs. They're living on the water. They're living on the water. They're living. Hey, welcome to Open. How you guys? Do you guys have water for sale? Yeah, we got water. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your luxury West Coast boutique got some water. We got water from Mount Shasta. How many you want? One or two? Uh, just one, please. Water from Mount Shasta. How about that? We got that eight water. You only get it here at open uh, from Mount Shasta, baby. Uh, if you water. don't know, now you know. Again, this boutique, this store is op it's right here in Hollywood, right across the street from Netflix. Uh, have have Doors are always open. Make sure to stop by. Make sure to come support. As you can see, Steph is not just going to sell you a product. He's going to educate you. What's the name of the podcast? Mastermind Alliance. So what's it about? It's about coming together with people that are successful and learning about them. Cheat codes in life that they've come across that have got them to succeed the way they have. We ask each guest 10 things. And those 10 things could either be a cheat code, a hint, or just a fuck up that they fucked up in life. So whoever's watching at home doesn't have to go through the same BS. I see. Yes, sir. So it's like wellness just like this store, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of mental health, man. We all got to help each other get out the grass. And the only way to do that is to pass information and positivity. Awesome, man. I support it. I hope you guys do very well. Thank you, sir, man. Enjoy that water, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, God bless you guys. I'll be 
<laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> We're still rolling. We rolling. We rolling, man. Man, yeah, man. You got to get outside yourself to to really enjoy this planet. And I, I I love that one, bro. That was a that was a great that was great. That was great. Yes, sir. Cause again, we're not we're not trying to show off that we've traveled. No, we're trying to let you understand the benefits of it. Yeah. And there is benefits. Yeah. You see yourself. You see who you are. You said it perfect, bro. Yeah. Shh. Without the obstacles of society, the infrastructures of society that's pulling you. Yes. You're able to like. Shh. Yeah. And really see things for what they are. Like uh, one of the biggest things that came to my head when I was in Africa, I was like, what the fuck is the reserve? Um, or the, why the fuck do we pay taxes? Mm. London don't pay taxes. Mm. Dubai don't pay taxes. Mm. Africa don't pay taxes. There's other forms that they work as a community to, to, to benefit their community and their state and their country. Mm -hmm. when, when you come and look at the way the United States does it, taxation upon presentation, like, fuck y'all, bro. Fuck that. Always taxing. Like, it's not sense. enough that you raped us. It ain't enough that you took our culture, our style. It ain't enough. Now you want to tax me? Wow. See, and now, now we, now we, now we tapping into some shit because, <laughs> because, see, why do they call America the land of the free? You can't go nowhere in this fucking world <laughs> without being taxed. And, <laughs> And they talking about free. You, you can't go nowhere in the world and land is free. Facts. Why do they call? I'm, I'm kind of I'm I'm like segwaying. No, no, it's fine. But We're on the point. Why do they call America the land of the free? Because they took it from us for free. <laughs> exactly, right? So I'm, I'm, I, I love where we are right now, right? So these motherfuckers... Check what these motherfuckers did. They some cold motherfuckers. They cold, right? bro. I don't know exactly who they are. But they ill. But them motherfuckers know who they are. Right. Right? And them motherfuckers know that I know who they are. Right? Right. So check what these motherfuckers did. These motherfuckers took not only land, but they took out time they they carved time out and presented another time in time so let me make this make sense oh, right? I, i'm with you you go to china you see the chinese man you go to japan you see the japanese man you go to africa africa you see the african man you come to America, who's the American man? Who the fuck is American? We go outside right now and we <laughs> ask 10 people, where you from? Like, what are you? They'd be like, I'm Russia, I'm Ukrainian, I'm Mexico, I'm Belizean. Dominican. I'm, I'm Dominican, right, right, right. I'm Jamaican. Right. You got all this stuff, but who the fuck is American? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm going to tell you who's American. Me. I'm American. I'm not African American. I'm not black. I'm not Negro. I'm American. And what I mean by that, I have 33 and a half acres of land in Shreveport, Louisiana. That's in my last name. By the land, there's a street where other people can get to their land. The name of that street is Smalls Road. Mm. My last name. My grandfather, grandfather, grandfather had that land. Mm. It's been passed down from generation to generation. And about time it got to me, it's down to 33 and a half acres. So, me not listening to his story, me listening to my lineage 
in me, I'm American, my family's American, never been no motherfucking slaves. <sighs> slaves didn't have acreage of land that was passed down from generation to generation to generation. I'm not African American. I went to six different parts of Africa, kissing the soil, hugging the people. And I just left knowing that I'm not from there. Mm. I'm not African American. That's what I'm not. I'm American. When I go to Shreveport, Louisiana, I feel at home. Mm. The smell. That's home. Wow. I'm American. And it's going to take everyone that's American that has been calling themselves black, mm. that's been calling themselves African American, to sit down and start calling themselves American, for us to pull out our American flags. Mm. That's what time it is. Yes, sir. Because this is our country. Mm. And we got some visitors that is overstaying their fucking welcome. Mm. You said that shit beautifully, bro. And something about, it's funny you say the 33, that's my master line up. My master, uh, is, it's like some when you get your birth and when you were born or something, your mastery number. I'm 33, and mm. this logo if, of this podcast, if you notice, there's a 33 on there. Mm. So there's just so many things that keep going round and round and just hitting, and I'm so grateful that you were the first person on this fucking podcast. Because it's not every day, bro, that I meet a real fucking American. Straight up. Wow. Wow. It's no accident that you're, you're doing God's work, bro. Mm -hmm. This ain't no accident. God bless, brother. Wow. Fuck, man. This already this podcast has been so powerful. This is crazy, bro. It's levels and levels and just it's like an onion. Just just ah, ah, ah. You are him. <laughs> you are him. Straight up. Straight up, bro. Handwritten on the wall. Wow, bro. And so wow. are you. Facts, bro. No, I know my I know it. I know it, brother. It's crazy. Columbus, he first landed in DR. Mm. Yeah, we were the we were we were the we were the experiment before mm -hmm. he, he came and fucked everything up here. Yeah, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, bro. Shit. Oh, we see what they did. See what they did. They gave us a place in our own place. And that's fucked up. You said it perfect. You could go to Japan and see the Japan man, the history, the samurai, the love, the art. You could go to China and see that. You could go to Africa and see the breakdown. The, some people still running around in tribes because they know who they are. They fucking took time out and put a fucking smoke screen and tried to put another one as if this shit wasn't already here and vibing and bumping. See, we think if we want to see our history... Americans, if we, if Americans want to see our history, we got to go to Britain. We got to go to the museums. We got to go to London. See, we think all those artifacts came from Africa. They were taken from here. That's why they're now giving people back their artifacts and shit from museums. Because they know, the real people know our truth. They're saying that mm. to perpetuate that story. Ah. Uh. Because they got us thinking they took these artifacts from Africa. So they're telling us they're giving it back to, to Africa. Africa. When in reality, they it came. got it from America. Wow. And they ain't giving shit back. Because they know. You, they do that. They, they put in the power right, right where it came from. Wow. So if you're listening out there, Americans, if you want to see your history, you go to the London Museums, you go to the Britain Museums, you go to the Paris Museums. Everything that has to do with melanin, everything that has to do with ancient civilization comes from America. Wow. Shit gets deep, bro. 
Shit gets real deep. Man, I don't want to stray from your 10, because I, I know we still got to work down the list. Where but, we at? But for six? a few, Yes, sir. But for a future, future conversation, because I, I already know you know a lot about this, I want to I wanna ask you about these Anunnakis. I want to learn more about these um, reptilians, because mm. I know you, you know. I, I feel it. <laughs> well, it's, again, everything is, is built against the original man. So the reptilians, in a way, they play these language barriers. They play this language game to throw you off. But if you was to put on something, you, you, any one of us three was to put on something that is not of this world, we would turn green. Oh, right. Mm. We're it. Crazy. We are the reptilian. We 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 are the Anunnaki. Mm. We are that that supreme being. being. We are. We're just taught every day. We're programmed every day that we're not. And that's the battle. That's the battle of today. It's not Russia and Ukraine. It's not what they're showing on television. Mm. It's us awakening, listening to that voice, listening to that voice. That's why I say you got to listen to that voice because that little voice that don't talk to no one, only you, mm -hmm. is, is, is the compass. Is how you navigate through today's time. Yes, sir. It's the only way. If not... We're lost. It's too many distractions. And that's the separation. Either you're listening to that compass, you're doing what you say you're doing, you're traveling the world, Mm. You're living in love. Mm. You know your why. You know your why. You say what you're going to do. You say what you're going to do. That's how you navigate today's time. Gotcha. If not, you're going to be spit on. You're going to be beaten. You're going to be you're going to be left and forgotten. You're going to be Yeah. Yeah. A part of the chaos. Yeah. The confusion, which that's, that's their motive. That's what they want. Fuck, bro. The only way I could capture, the only way I could capture you. Is by confusing you. No. The only way I could capture you is if you capture yourself. <laughs> Drugs, alcohol, <sighs> preservatives, processed meats. It's all to weaken us, to stop listening to that inner voice so I could follow astray. That's why, again, bro, shout out to this store. You're bringing the power. You're putting the power back in every human being's hands, bro. I'm not leaving this store without shopping, bro. You know that. <laughs> it's here for you. The power is here. Super grateful for this conversation today, brother. Let's get to six. Number six. Fuck. Be the best neighbor. Mm. Be the best neighbor. I ask you right now. Besides your, your wife and your children, who is the closest to you? Your neighbor. Why is that? They live right next door. They, they, <laughs> they, they're, they're stationed. And guess what? I don't fucking know them. I, 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 I can actually say that. We're in a group text where we talk about our, our little home um, 
H O H O what's it called? H O H O A. Yeah, that's all we do. Just yeah, nah. all my neighbors is Asian, and you know how Asians could be a little standoffish. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's more of a reason to talk to them. So when you go home, you build a relationship with your neighbors. Yes, sir. I know every fucking neighbor. For the past ten years, I created a, a brand called the Neighborhood. Mm. It's still up. You can go on YouTube, THANeighborhood.com, an online platform for people to showcase their neighborhood and their creativity. Mm. Right? It takes a neighbor to be a neighbor. Your neighbor is the closest thing you have to you besides your wife and your children that's in your immediate household. Mm. If you are in a home by yourself, your neighbors is closer to, closer to you than your family. Family, yeah. Which, if some shit was to hit the fan, they're the ones that's going to help you get this shit done. You see them every day. Every day. So, I wow. always practice. Wherever I am in the world. Loving thy neighbor. And what that means is acknowledgement, number one, mm. and serving, number two. Mm. Being of service. Wow. Wow. One of my neighbors, she, uh, she walks by every day. I had so much admiration to her and for her because she had this dog that had three legs. And every day, two, three times a day, she would make sure this dog had a walk. The sacrifice that this woman was placing before everyone that seen her walked his dog every day hmm. was was bigger than anything. It was bigger than like the Million Man March in my eyes. Right. And this dog that had three legs that was 16 years old that was told wasn't going to live past four. Live to 16. Would walk by this store and stop every day. She had to literally drag, drag. him. Every time I seen the dog, I would mad love. And she came by yesterday. She was walking up the street. I looked and I knew. He was gone. And she walked right up to me and she said, Damn. I knew exactly what she was talking about. I got up and I hugged her. Brought her in here. I gave her an ultra violet. I gave her, she bought a smoothie. I didn't want her to take her money. But she was like, no, I want to purchase a smoothie. And I appreciate you for being nice to her. So. Acknowledgement, being aware, engaging, and serving your neighbor. That's a great neighbor. Straight up. Wow. And I have neighbors anywhere I've lived. I still talk to all my neighbors wow. to this day. Every neighbor I've ever had, I still talk to. Wow. Today. They're my friends. I've started business with my neighbors. I had a 14-year-old a kid that I started the neighborhood with. His name is Sammy Sam. Sammy Sam, if you're listening out there, baby, proud of you, kid. You know what I'm saying? I started a, a business with a 14-year-old kid, the neighborhood, <laughs> because he was walking down the street, little 14-year-old kid in the suburbans, Sherman Oaks, was smoking a blood, 3 o'clock, mailman walking and shit. The fuck is this kid doing? Come here, man. Let me talk to you. <laughs> Start smoking with the nigga. The nigga became my little smoking. <laughs> Anybody that I hang out with, we gotta create something. Facts. It's the only way. You know. So we created something. The wow. neighborhood. You guys can go check that out. Thaneighborhood.com. Man. Fuck. Love thy neighbor.
<laughs> Almost made me cry with that story, bro. Be the best neighbor, bro. Be the best neighbor, bro. Be best neighbor. I got to teach that to my daughters, bro. Be the best neighbor. And it... It, it, it trickles. It, Look at goosebumps for how real that shit is, man. Can't even fathom, bro, where it, where it takes you. I love that, bro. Because some of the, in my life, strangers have done more for me than anybody. It'd be the people that you never even thought take me across the whole world. Straight up. Wow, that was beautiful. That's fucking beautiful. About to learn some Chinese fucking around with, like, with my Straight neighbors. Up. Straight up. They probably, my neighborhood could prepare me for when I go to Tokyo. Or, or, you feel me? What am I doing? Tap in. What's who, what's around? What? That's yeah. why you're around it, dog. God it's put me there for a reason. Field, dog. That's, That's my energy. Like, dog, is, it's not the projection. Yeah. You projected what you're around. Mm. Be it. Utilize it. Mm. Live in it. Mm. That's why it's around you, because you projected this shit. I attracted this shit. Fuck. That's really good. That's, that's, that's really good. That's a good seven. That's a really good seven right there. They all been good. And like you said, they're a snowball effect. If you really take pride in these steps, they could change your life. And I can text you. And that way you can put it up on the screen. I would love that, bro. Please. That way while I'm editing it. Yes, sir. Just so it hits a little more. Yeah. Let the message come read home. It sometimes. Yeah. Reading is good. Some people got to read to learn. To learn, right. Facts. That's why um, podcasts are so good for me because I've never been the biggest reader. But mm -hmm. I can listen the you fuck listen. out of something, man. <laughs> I could fucking I listen. listen the fuck out of this shit. Man, to the point Yo. where I could re say it verbatim. Right. For real. Like, right. And I just, I think it's just a gift of, of hear it once, speak it t three to four times to really learn it. I, I, I learned that when I was younger. If, if To learn something is not enough. To go teach it is to really master it. Mm -hmm. So I've I always been that guy that... It's just preaching the shit I heard. And to the point where some people think I'm a genius, but they don't know. I'm just re-saying what I heard. Straight and just, up. Uh, uh, crazy, bro. It's, it's powerful. How about number eight? Number eight. Man, that's... Uh, man, they... Uh, man. No, number seven. Oh, we're on... That last one was six. Yup. Six was amazing, bro. Yup. Be the best neighbor. Number seven. The power of hello. Mm. Mm. You touched upon that earlier a little bit. Just saying a hoe makes them a more reason to want to shop with you instead of shopping with somebody they never said hello. The right. power of making feel somebody feel good through the exchangement of hello. Hello, dog. Hello could change your whole world, your whole paradigm. You're right. Hello is... Hello is... This power is hello is you have no water you say hello now you have water hello is you have no food you say hello now you got food hello is you had no place to stay you say hello now you got a place to stay hello is so magical you can walk by the ugliest meanest most disgrunt person you ever seen in your life say hello and make them smile you say hello to him that person can turn into a motherfucking flower facts because because bro you there, i have a neighbor but now he doesn't live in my in my where i live but he lives on the other street and when i walk my dogs um this neighbor um it um happens to have tattoos all over his face carries that demeanor but to me that guy i i got more relations with than the asian niggas so when I walk past him, I let him know, hello. And guess what, bro? My wife was walking with me and my kids the other day, and you know she's a little scared because she's, she's from that suburb, Pasadena side of town. But this guy, I, I'm, I relate to him. And that guy, bro, the way he looked at me when I said that and the way my wife understood, like... You saw the sweetness. The sweetness the, in the this... Sweetness. 
tattoo guy with none of that. None of that even phased my girl. My girl seen the man smile mm. and she was just like humanity. She, she looked at me like, it's "Wow, right this fucking husband of mine is something else." But it, I'm not. I'm just fucking human, man. Yeah. And you're right, man. Hello. Hello, dog. It's so powerful. So powerful. We're all in this fucking matrix. We all want to be accepted, man. That's it. We all just want to be known of. That's it. Hello goes a long fucking way. Acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. Yes. If I walk by you, I'm saying hello to you. Yes, you have to. You have to. If I feel you, I have to. Wow. The power of hello. That's amazing. Wow. The power of hello. I like that. Because I, I move in um, like uh, the power of now. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, if, if I drive by and I see a Lamborghini and I want to take a picture with it, I'm not going to be like, oh, I'll drive by later. Nah. It's gone later. It's gone later. If I, oh, shit. What, what? Get, get out. It's excitement. Oh, my God. That, mm, that. Power living. of now, yeah. I, I, and I live by that. Yeah, but that power of hello oh, yeah. has just been embedded into that list of powers. Straight up. Thank you. Yes, sir. Wow. Fuck, you've done a lot for me today, bro. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Just getting started. I know. It's only the beginning. The, only the beginning. And let this podcast be a, a, a flag of that. Yes, sir. So when we're doing business down, the, down, down this week, down this month, down this year, we, we remember, wow, man, we really sat down and came together. Because yes, we've seen each other so many times. And yeah, we've made friends. We connected. But man, today's the first time we are really like mastermind minding this. Yes, sir. Masterminding. Yes, sir. I like this. This is great, bro. Yes, sir. This is epic. This is fucking epic. Yes, sir. The power yeah. of hello. Power of hello, dog. Change your whole paradigm. Mm-hmm. Epic. What's something that happened in your life that just made you grateful for that power and just reminded you, like, man, I can't go without saying hello? Is it just the fact that already you know to... Love thy neighbor, and, and, and to love thy neighbor, the w best way to start that relationship is by saying hello. It's one of those things, man, it's just um, being a student of life, man. Mm. You know? Uh, it's, it's one of those things, it's like, I don't have what I want. I gotta get with my neighbor to get what I need. It's like, yeah, like I'm walking this universe by myself, the earth by myself. And I've been building something and I came across another person. Wanna give me a helping hand? I've been waiting a day to see somebody that can help me out with this. So it's like, hello is the, is the start of it. Mm -hmm. Hello is, is an opportunity to be equal. Because if I say hello and you say hello back, we both came to the table with the same energy. Mm. It, was, it was a transaction. It was it's even. Mm. I'm not taking anything from you or you're not taking anything from me. Mm. We're giving to one another. Mm. And what we're giving is humanity. Acknowledgement. Yeah. I see you. Yeah. I know you were walking and and I was walking and I didn't see nobody. You didn't see nobody, but I see you. Mm-hmm. And that acknowledgement is what's for me. Because what's for me? What's for me is not his story. What's for me is not their story. What's for me isn't these indoctrinations. What's for me, I live amongst every day. Mm. Now, how do I repel that information 
I repel it by letting it be known that I see it and I acknowledge it. And how do I acknowledge when I see it? Hello. Mm. Understood. The power so of hello. Now, now what's around me is I just gave it power to enter, to be around, to encompass, to help, to assist, to encourage, to motivate, to separate me from mm. the not real. Mm. Yeah, I get you. My hello is the radar beacon that dolphins send out to get feedback. I say hello, you say get the fuck out of here. That nigga's mad. Mm. Understood. I say hello and you say, come here, I want to show you something. I've been waiting for you to say hello. Mm. Check this out. You know, so anything can uncover from hello. Mm -hmm. The power of hello. Power of hello. It's and, for you. And the way you broke that down as far as two people coming together, we're not taking from each other, but we're giving an opposite. What disservice are we doing when we walk past each other and don't say hello? So much shit is being done. Consciously. Yeah. The complete opposite. Yeah. Because I that's that's what I just... I, I, I went to remember the times I walked past a neighbor and just looked at them like... like nothing happened. Nothing. But I, I just it's, made it's fear. Never, I made fear more real. I made I made neglection more real. I made... The projection real. Ill. Versus what's really real. What's right, actually, actually real. See, there's reality. System structures put us in situations to produce a reality, but in actuality, it's like this. Commonality of actuality. It's a formula. I, I simplify things. Commonality of actuality. It's actually a new genre in movies and like we got reality shows, we got action, we got drama, well, this is a commonality of actuality. Facts. This is what's, what we're actually thinking. Facts. This is what we're actually doing. This is, this is actually happening. The best documentary, do documentary of, of, of call what we're living. And be like, yo, what you're doing? I'm not going to be like, I'm, I'm doing a podcast. No. In actuality, me and my guy has created a paradigm mm. that the world is going to be able to reap from. That's what's actually, actually happening. Exactly. Reality say, oh, they're doing a podcast. Right. To try to Some downplay. Dumb shit. Right. Trying to dump, downplay this knowledge, this game. But in actuality, we got, we got teams, we got equipment, we got substances, we got experiences we got relationships we that have knowledge we have knowledge we have cheat codes cheat codes a list of 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 a guidance to to keep you astray All right so if I, somebody call me and be like oh i'm doing a podcast right now mm -hmm. it's not actual mm -hmm. it's reality yeah but not actuality it's not actual. <laughs> That's a good one, baby. Power of hello. I love it. So, so not saying hello when you pass your neighbors creates a reality, a frantic, oh. a frantic reality. Mm -hmm. But walking down and saying hello to your neighbors creates that actuality. actuality to make us stronger and build that community. As soon as you start talking to your neighbors, you're going to be like, damn, why have I not been talking to this dude? Because you're going to uncover so much your neighbor got for you, that and vice I, versa. Right. And that's why y'all buy each other. Every day. Facts. Good or bad, we neighbors. You yeah. guys fast together. I mean, he's sleeping, you're sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Our temples are right next to each other. We have to simplify it I to find. Yeah, man.
We're biohacking this shit. Biohacking, yep. At the finest. Exactly what's occurring. Today, you haven't just told us how to biohack our body, how to biohack our mind, how to biohack our community. Our spirit. Everything. I'm so grateful, bro. Again, I'm so glad you are the first episode of the Mastermind Alliance because we are diving deep, man. Mm. And this, this, this is the energy this show, podcast, frequency needs to continue from guest to guest to guest. Mm. And like I said, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have many people on the show too many times, but bro, like you're definitely going to be a reoccurring. You know, <laughs> all you got to do is just call me, dog. That's it. Text Facts. me, call me. I'm there. Facts. You hear me? We appreciate you, man. For real, yes, for sir. real. Let's get on to the next one. Yes, sir. Man, the power of hello. Uh, hello. Hello, to hello. Open. Your luxury. And we're back again. If you need a smoothie, you need to re-energize yourself, or you need some lack of nutrition that you just don't know about, make sure to stop by. We're open. Seven days a week, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Let my, let, let, let my man get y'all right, man. That Straight little up. shot we took earlier, I'm still feeling the benefits of it, man. So now let's continue with our list. We're on number eight. Number eight. Understand the creator within you. Mm. That's again, Understand listening to that voice. the creator that's in you. We all come from the same source, a woman. From a plant, to an insect, to a dolphin, to a fish, to a human being, we all come from a woman, okay? We all got that in common, okay? Understand the creator in you, okay? Either be pro-life or anti-life. Either the decisions that you're making every day is pro-life or they're anti-life. If what you're doing tomorrow produces a tomorrow, that's pro-life. If what you're doing today take away tomorrow, that's anti-life. Mm. Understand the creator that's within you. Mm -hmm. Same creator, but we're all creating something different. Mm. Some people they might not even know it, but they're creating that anti-life instead of adding to life. Wow. Okay. Go, uh, so this is a little deeper than even just listening to that voice in your head. This is understanding the application of knowledge, wisdom. Mm. Got you. Okay. And how, and how we all come from a female, so how can I devalue or destroy something I come from. Understanding that if I work hard today, I'm creating a better tomorrow. And also understanding if I'm taking away today, I'm destroying my tomorrow. I got you. So if you're having sex with a woman, thank God you're doing that. If you're having sex with a man, and you're a man, you're destroying your tomorrow. There's there is no tomorrow. tomorrow. One man and another man cannot create. If you're a woman, sleeping with a woman, you will not create another woman tomorrow or another man. We are here for each other and listen to what created you. Understand Amen. the creator that's in you. Mm. And not just the, because we love to create when it comes to material things, making people better. But you touched upon this earlier. We are creators by nature. So listen to that creator. If not, we're, we're doomed. There's no tomorrow. I get it, and I see why they want everybody to do that, and I see why they're, they're pushing that on people, because they want you to kill your ancestors. They, again, I don't need, best way to destroy you is letting you destroy yourself. That's the only way to destroy you. If somebody came in here and tried to fight us, they probably wouldn't win. Right. But if they came in here and gave us liquor, gave us drugs, 
Gave us fried chicken. Checkmate. We got to destroy ourselves. It's the only way. And I like that because when you think with the self-creator in you, there's no way to harm yourself because you're thinking for tomorrow. You're thinking of your why. And your why is to understand you are a creator and that you tomorrow will be passing down your seed and letting it grow. And you want to give that seed the biggest advantage that you can. And the only way to do that is by preparing today for tomorrow. Mm. And that's what they don't want. Mm. Man. Wow. I never thought about it. But when I said the 10 things I want people to come on this show and talk about, I never thought if there were so, things so solid, they could damn near be the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby! And yo, Steph, man, you, you, you fucking hit everything on the nail today, bro. From one to eight, everything's been crazy. Mm. I'm excited to see what these last two are about. Mm. Yeah, wait till we get to the last one. The last <laughs> one is going to be dope. Uh, number nine. May I? Yes, sir. Number nine. The cycle of life. Mm. Everything is repeated. Everything is a cycle. Everything is repeated. Everything is a cycle. Full circle. You were born. You develop. To create a born. Mm. That born develops. To create a born. Mm. It's the cycle of life. If you really sit back and pay attention and you do the nine things that we just listed, you will be able to properly recreate and, and, and guide in the, in the proper form. Straight up. You, and not only that, but you'll be able to see things happening over and over and over and over again. So you could fix them. If you really pay attention. And focus. Like, think about as soon as you get up, what do you do? You brush your teeth every morning. Mm -hmm. Every morning you're brushing your teeth. How can you brush your, your teeth different tomorrow? Mm. Every day you're taking a shower. Mm. Every day you're loving your family. Every day. So with this cycle of life, focus on it and configure it how you want it. But understand that it's a circle. Mm. And, and what comes around goes around. And understand the cycle and get in front of the cycle to benefit from this rotation because it's gonna rotate don't it's matter don't don't matter what we try to do or say it's Can't gonna nobody stop it yeah it's 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 an infinite cycle that's what they play on this war and blowing up the world and that's what they play on and the fear but it ain't you can't no one interrupt the cycle of life mm. they can Make your receptors go away from the cycle of life. Mm. But they can't affect the cycle of life. That's what they're trying to do. They're playing God. Mm. Like they're playing the arm, um, but it's no way you can. Mm. Facts. Once it's, it's, it started, it is. So therefore, will always be mm. that cycle of life, no matter what. Damn. There's no stopping. And it goes into number 10. The cycle of life goes into number 10. Mm. You know what number 10 is? Mm -mm. May I go into number 10? Yes, sir. Number 10 is, I'm going to ask you two a question. Mm -hmm. Zero being the smallest number. Mm -hmm. 
what's the name of the biggest number? Infinite. It's a concept, but that's you guys' answer. Googleplex. Googleplex is the name of the biggest number. Googleplex. Googleplex. You got zero being the smallest. Mm. Googleplex is the biggest. And what Googleplex is, it's one and nonstop zeros. Mm. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Comparison. Your heart. Mm -hmm. Ever since your heart started beating in your mother's womb, it has not stopped. It hasn't stopped. Mm -hmm. Your heart don't stop. That's Google Play. Zero, 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 zero. That's a cycle of life. It doesn't stop. That's the working capital that us, we, are about to have access to. It's no longer money. It's working capital. Mm. We're going to have an account. You speak, you walk, you talk. You are a certain frequency. You're going to have access to an account with Googleplex amount of working capital. Mm. Doesn't stop. Wow. Fucking wow. <laughs> Googleplex, dog. Googleplex. Let's go, baby. Makes sense why they named it Google. Now nah, it's nonstop. Let, let it start. Let the unraveling start. Formulas. Deciphering. Codes. Mm. Masterminding. Mm-hmm. Epic, bro. And that's the t- that's the t- number ten to to move in this Googleplex. Number ten is what is the biggest number? Mm. Number ten is Googleplex. Mm. Now everyone listening to your podcast, never in history of time have we ever been taught. What is the biggest no, number? Never. Well, today on your podcast, they know. On your discernment of information that you've given to your people, to your community, they now know the name of the biggest number in the universe Googleplex. One and non stop zeros. Hmm. Epic. That's crazy. And that's how we're moving. That's what this is. That's all, like everything we've discussed, everything is, everything is, we're doing this, the accounts we're about to be looking at, nothing but zeros. Mm -hmm. We're going to own the cities. We're going to own the states. We're going to own the countries. We're going to own the seas because we already do. All we got to do is say we do. Mm -hmm. And we do. Man, facts. And the ones ahead of us, if you pay attention, they're already on it. Are they? Not true. Yeah, right. Are they? They just, they they just. What's the actuality? Because people are great at painting pictures Mm. to the point where I'm great at painting a picture. But fuck painting a picture. What's the actuality? Live in the picture. Why be an actor for a movie when I could be an actor? In life. And that's why I stopped being an actor. And I became an actor. Mm. And acting is reacting. That's the definition of acting. It's reacting. We still pay to see Will Smith 20, 30 years. Because we're constantly paying to see how he would react to certain situations. Mm. Certain what is his reaction? I, mean, I want to see that. Mm. Reaction. The reason why you chose me and you, you gave me the opportunity of 
being here with you is because is because of the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you hold yourself, man. Whatever you saw. Yeah. I didn't call, I didn't. Facts. I didn't talk to you in a couple years. Facts. It was just. It's just calling. I, I, I knew there was knowledge. <laughs> I knew. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts when you put it that way, bro. Wow. You went above and beyond, bro. This, this, this is one of them, like when you, I find a good podcast online that I'm like, you hear it like three, four times just because you're just like, God damn. This, like the first time you watch it, you just want to take it in. The second time you're studying it. The third time you're like, oh. And man, you, 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 you weren't just prepared. Yeah, you, you were above and beyond ready for this opportunity, bro. Yes, sir. And again, man, um, I'm grateful. Anybody at home listening right now, you helping them uncover the fucking loopholes to this crazy society we live in, I know they're sitting there right now grateful. So on behalf of them, let me tell you, thank you, bro. And thank you for being on the show, man. Yes, sir. Man, what a fucking ride. Mastermind Alliance in full effect. And one thing that he said about that Googleplex, let this be the f- number one to the many zero 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 zeros of this podcast because we're never ending. Never, baby. And I love it, man. Again. And that's how open became open because I was like, what's the opposite of what I want to be? I don't ever want my marketplace to close. Right. So therefore. It's open. And that's, that's, that's why this store is open, man. So make sure if you're in Hollywood and you want to juice, you want to just get a little closer to the knowledge. Steph is here 24-7, man. Make sure to tap in. We're going to put his socials. We're going to put everything. Make sure to follow him. And make sure to just say hello. How about that? Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. It's been an ultimate fucking pleasure. Peace.